Hello everyone, as we have discussed about primary and secondary means of venting on tankers, now we will discuss the pressure sensor how to set in various conditions. Let us understand what these settings are in let us understand what these settings of pressure sensor should be in various conditions like non inerted tanks inerted tanks and vapor line let us say that the primary means of venting is through pv walls the operating pressure for the pv walls is pressure 2000 mmwg and vacuum minus 350 mmwg if the pressure wall are working correctly the pressure inside the cargo tank will never exceed these levels it is only if the pressure inside the tank increases to more than the pv wall settings that the duty officer would like to be alerted when loading the duty officer would like to be alerted when the pressure inside the tank more than 2000 mmwg and when discharging the duty officer like to be alerted when the vacuum inside the tank more than minus 350 mmwg but would be like to be alerted when the cargo pressure is just above the pv wall lifting pressure say at 2010 mmwg of course not there can be many reasons for the slight variation in maintaining the cargo tank pressure level by pv walls so how much variation can be allowed oc imf recommended this variation to be maximum 10 percent over the pv wall set pressure means we will set the pressure sensor at the 10 percent above the pressure of pv wall and vacuum of pv wall then we will take the 10 percent of 2000 it will be 200 mmwg now for vacuum we will take 10 percent more than 350 of 350 in vacuum section we will take 10 percent of the 350 and we will add on the 350 it will get it will be a 385 mmwg now after non inerted tanks now we have inerted tanks in inerted tanks what will be the parameter for the pressure settings as we know when vessel carries flammable cargoes the oxygen level in the tanks maintained at below 8 percent y volume then how it's maintaining it is maintaining with the inert gas means tank are inerted conditions so when loading the tank will be under positive pressure and excess pressure will be ventilated either through moisturizer or through the pv walls when discharging the cargo we cannot let the vacuum side of the pv wall lift we supply the inert gas to cargo tank to keep these under positive pressure means if the air will come inside so it will increase the oxygen percentage and it can form a explosive mixture the positive pressure is more than pv wall lifting pressure while loading the cargo setting for the positive pressure will be 10 percent more than pv wall pressure which is required by pressure sensor means if the pressure goes over the over the designed pressure of pv wall by 10 percent then it will give the alarms or for the vacuum it should be the positive pressure because we, we will take the positive pressure close as to the zero here we have taken the vac for the vacuum section we have taken the 100 mmwg Me now next when using vapor retail line in the case of vapor retail line the vapor retail line is used when the vapor of the cargo are considered to be toxic sometimes it is used for the non-toxic cargos to because terminal requirement vapor line allows the connection between shift tank vapor space and show tank vapor space as we have we will see in this figure we will see the loading hose goes to the shift tank and the, the yellow line is the vapor line which is connected to the upper part of the ship's tank to the shore tank 
so as we are loading the cargo and as we are displacing the vapor means it should be in equilibrium positions we use the vapor line with the purpose of that there should not be any release of the cargo vapor into atmosphere this means we cannot allow the pv valve lift at any time so in the we don't allow the pv valve lift at any time because we don't uh, want to release the gas from the tank to the atmosphere so what we will do we will set the pressure sensor setting at the 10% less than the pv valve operating pressure so what we will take we will take just pressure side we will take the 1800 mmwg if the tank are inverted we cannot allow the tank to be under negative pressure in this case the pressure sensor setting would be anything positive which will prefer for the 100 mmwg means if the tank is inverted then we cannot take the air outside to the tank then we will set the vacuum side pressure in pressure sensor setting 100 mmwg in this case the pressure sensor setting need to be 10% lower than the pv valve lifting pressure so if the tank is non inverted then we can set the vacuum side pressure 10% more than the allow 10% more than or less usually we are setting minus 200 mmwg in this case pv breaker pv breaker is another mechanism that act as secondary means of venting on the crude oil tanker pv breaker is located and connected to the common ig line in the ships as we have shown here the in the figure the pv breaker has connected to the common line which is led to the masterizer pv breaker works on the principle of set water column fill in it and it allows the pressure to release from the common iz line by impeding by impeding out the fill water in the pv breaker it also allows to break the vacuum by allowing the air inside the tank through common iz lines okay guys thanks for watching my video please like the video and subscribe my channel and